Okay, so today we have a 99YZ250 motor and a 96YZ250 frame. Obviously, the YZ250 from 1996 had a different motor, so we were welding in mounts in order to transplant this 99 motor into the 96. Now how we're doing this, before I get into that, why we're doing this, there are many reasons as to why you would do this. One would be that you damaged your frame, or um, maybe your frame didn't have any paperwork and you wanted paperwork. In our particular case, it's one of those two things. I'll let you guys figure out which one. Anyway, um, how we're doing this is we're locating the rear motor mount with the swing arm connection here, uh, as well as the top head motor mount. And before we bolted it up like this, uh, the owner of the bike cleaned up all the existing bracketry. And what we did was we created some brackets, fabricated some brackets. And then now what we've done is just tack welded those brackets on. Uh, it was close, but it d definitely didn't didn't fit. Obviously, the 99 has a different case than the 96. Uh, we did the same with this bottom mount. You can see the tacks there, hopefully. But yeah, now what we're going to do is we're going to pull the motor and finish weld it, uh, put it all back together, and... Uh, Hopefully it'll work. Uh, don't see any reason why it shouldn't. Everything else seems to bolt together. The 96 and the 99, I believe, had the same frame geometry as it pertains to the forks and the rear suspension. The only difference was 99 was the first year of the new motor, uh, which is the existing YZ250 motor that I believe is still being used today or at least a variant of the original 99 motor. All right, next shot will be us finish welding this. Here are the welds that are holding uh, together this these new motor mounts. It's been a while since I welded, but not the greatest welds, but they will do. The other thing I forgot to mention is there was a bit of massaging, if you will, that was done to clear the lower frame rails here. So this has obviously been clearanced a little bit to make room for the bigger motor or the newer motor but yeah uh, now we will bolt the bike back together and hopefully get a video of it running a couple weeks from now that is it all right so after finish welding and a coat of paint the motors back in Everything bolts up, lines up nicely. Plenty of clearance <clears throat> all the way around. As well as it looks like the chain, spr the sprocket and the chain will line up perfectly. Um, yeah, so the plan is to take this back to the owner's house and he will bolt everything back together and hopefully take video of this thing starting looks pretty good if this does in fact work it will be amazing but no reason it shouldn't it looks good again here's some shots of the clearances
Once again, this is a 1999 YZ250 motor in a 96 frame.